so when you go into and this is the way that i'm going to stream when you go into preferences and you start fiddling around with your voice audio it actually cuts it off from the people around you in world okay but it won't cut me off from streaming <laughs> okay so i'll stream it and then i'll share the link with you <laughs> okay. oscar okay so you go into winner, me winner. <laughs> preferences or you can just do the shortcut which is control p okay and then you need sound and media and you might have a slightly different menu if you're using depending on the viewer you're using but it's the same kind of thing the same words you're looking for preferences sound and media and then of course voice okay so when you go into voice you look at input output devices and that's when you click on that it actually cuts you off from in world voice okay but it allows you to check what device your microphone and your speakers are set to and it's very important I have found other people say it works for them fine it's very important I found not to use default so I'm gonna click on input output devices just so you can see what it looks like but you won't be able to hear me unless you watch the recording okay so I've just got receiving of audio is allowed but if you notice on my input I've got the actual microphone I'm using not default and it would ha if you've got more than one microphone set you have a list here okay and then the speakers again not default and if you've got more than one speaker you can set it there but I find if you don't put the input and output specifically then yes, the computer system system will struggle to work out which microphone you're using, especially if you've only just plugged it in. And the way to test if your volume should be working is you should see this going up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Okay, you can also adjust the volume there. So if it's a bit loud, you can bring it down a bit so that it doesn't show red too much. A little bit of red's not so bad, but every word shouldn't be up in this range there it's too loud so take it down a bit take it down a bit and hopefully that will be okay then when you press okay it should reattach uh, it should re send the sound signal into the in world but if you notice you can't hear anything and the other people can't hear anything there's no green wavy lines anywhere so probably zom and oscar are talking about me so i better go back Okay, you click OK and it sets the actual uh, voice. Okay. And I'm back. <laughs> okay, so whilst I was talking then, I think the stream will have been working, but you wouldn't have been able to hear me. So I'll share the link with you, Oscar, and then that might stop you. I'm not saying it will, but it might stop you from having to re-log. Okay. I'm afraid you didn't hear me. No, I couldn't hear you. And you couldn't I was hear me. Driving the menu and <laughs> the dialog box. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But if you if you watch I'll I'll send you the link to the video when it's um you won't be able to watch it now, but when it's um published on YouTube, I'll send you the link in the forum to the actual video and you can see then how it works okay but anyway let's get on with our little spelling checker joke okay um and if you like i'll start off so that we can get a bit of warm up okay so this is what's actually written i'll read it out and then we can talk about what it should say okay all right so as soon as a mist ache is made it knows b for too long and I can put the error right. It's rarely ever wrong. So what can you uh, see there not... that's wrong? <laughs> <laughs> mistake is wrong. <laughs> yes. <laughs> a mistake. Oh, that would be awful. A mist mist. Uh, it aches. It aches a lot. <laughs> yeah. But not the miss. <laughs> what is the meaning mistake. of that word? Mis mistake? Written that spelled that way. Okay, so you know what a mistake is, yes. <laughs> okay, um, mist is a weather phenomena. It's lighter ah, yeah, than okay. fog. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. 
There are two words, yeah. Sorry. It's two words, yeah. And then ache uh, is a, a, num- yeah. a numbing, a dull, throbbing pain is an ache, yeah? But, of course, a missed ache is ridiculous. No such thing. Yeah. But a mistake. <laughs> yeah. It's a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, can you spot another mistake in that first line, or have we done? Yeah, there is no maid. <laughs> there is no maid in this. Uh, yes, in no visa. maids. Maid, <laughs> absolutely. As soon as a mistake is made. But a maid, uh, the um, maid and maid, it's the same pronunciation? It is the same pronunciation, yeah. They are homophones. Right. Sound like maid, and vice versa. Um, I think I must. I must have them both in. Um... So we did this stanza. So I was wrong. I so thought we did, had. Uh, I thought we had. Yeah. yeah. I, uh, I no, we had. Uh, talking about the different words or as we are doing right now, it comes back. It to come, us, It's coming so, back to yeah. you. I remember. I, I'm sure I told you the story about um, send me a maiden. But if you notice the homophone um, number 21, gosh, that was a long time ago that I did that one. Okay. You can practice that one. Made. Made. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but I'll, I'll carry on saying it. Um, it yep, knows yep, sure. before too long. Of course, before, knows, and knows. Oh. Yeah. B. Four, but then before. Okay, that's why I said I'll do this one because I'm sure we did it, but I didn't want. I thought maybe you'd have to. You just had a little brain burp, or maybe I'd had a little brain burp. Okay, because I didn't have time today to check. And then uh, it knows before too too long, too long, too long, not. Yeah. So too long, not too longs. <laughs> uh, and I, of course, I, that's the standard one, yeah. can put the error right, not the right of passage yeah. that we talked about last week. It's rarely ever it wrong. And it's, it is rare. yeah. So it's is fine, but it needs the apostrophe. Yeah. Good. Right. Okay, good. Excellent. So... <laughs> I yeah, think the next one has to be Zom. <laughs> <laughs> so, Oscar is going to do it, right? After you, please. <laughs> You're so polite, uh, Oscar. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, suddenly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I read it as it is. Yeah, read it as it is. Yep. Uh, so you can see why I do praise such software for PCs and why I break into a verse by writing one, two, please. Okay. It means nothing. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's take it bit by that. <laughs> let's take it bit by bit. <laughs> As I read it, <laughs> mostly. Is that the right pronunciation for the first two words? So, so you? Yes. Okay. You is a female. Uh, is a female of a um, of a ship, right? Ah, uh, no. Um, okay, yeah. Oh, you no. is the female of you? a ship, uh, of a sheep. Okay. <laughs> ship. You've got me sheep. saying ship. ship. A you <laughs> is a female <laughs> sheep. Ah. Oh. All right. Okay. <laughs> but there's there's something else that's wrong there. Before so. we get to, yeah so. Yeah, should be so. Now be careful because there's so, so, and so. What a so and so. <laughs> now to sew. Sewing, sewing machine. Sewing machine, yeah, exactly. Sewing, machine sewing needle and, and thread. Yeah. And the sow, we are in the field. Yes. And, uh, so to yeah, sow seeds. seeds. Yeah. Yeah, to sow seeds. Now there is another. pronunciation for the noun any idea how that should be pronounced and what it means uh, Oscar you turn <laughs> 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 uh, 
Thank you. <laughs> Maybe, oh, fair enough. <laughs> we have to so, share. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so? No, so, it's so. a sow. A sow. sow. Yeah, any idea what a sow oh, is? is sow. So to sow. Yeah, I, I, I'm looking it up. Oh, no, the, she's going to tell it. Look it yeah. up. You don't know, I don't know. <laughs> male pig. A sow. Not the a male pig. pig. Not a male pig. Female. A female pig. Ah. Yes. The wild one or the domestic Domesticated one. or wild, doesn't matter. It's a sow. Okay, it's a sow. Yes. And and a wild a wild pig is not a pig, it's a boar. It's a boar, boar. exactly. But it's still a sow. I, I think it's still a sow. A wild boar is still a female wild boar is still a sow. Oh, I knew that. I knew that in the past. Okay, but, yeah. okay, what is a male pig? Uh, ah, a pig is a generic name then. Pig is generic, yes, it's genderless. So a male domestic pig, you mean? Yep. Uh, a boar. Um, there is an expression when you are on the road. Is it in it use a pig name? No? Or I choose what is it? Uh, I should know this one. Mm. I'm wondering what's what's when you're on the road. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry. Everyone their references, huh? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I'm sure I'm no, I should know this one. A male pig. Yeah, a boar, but yeah. it's a wild pig. No. There's a wild uh, boar, it's not... and it's also a domesticated male, uncastrated male pig. Oh, and when it's castrated, what do you call it? Pig. Um, oh. Yeah, it's, it's very strange, okay. Um, it's called a barrow, but nobody uses that huh? word, okay. Yeah, barrow. sort of technical word. I it, it's just the sort of I word mean, that maybe a pig farmer might use or a butcher might use, you know, somebody yeah, in that so trade. Specialized. It's a specialised term, yes. But the boar is the male pig with all its bits attached, okay? And a sow is a female pig, okay? What do you call when there are two cars and one pass the others and uh, pull over very close to the front of the, of hog. the other cars? A and road hog. hog. What is hog? Um, yeah, that's a very good question. Yes, pig. Yeah, you can call ah, a pig a hog. Gosh. Okay. I knew I had someone to connect it to. <laughs> a rod hog. So a hog is a pig, right? Yes. Yeah. I would have, uh, but it's also, do you know what, it, what else it is? What a hog no. can be. So yeah, a hog can be also a male pig, but generally we say a boar. Okay. Uh, ho maybe a hog might be more of an American term, perhaps. Okay, but there's also an informal slang term for a hog. Any ideas what it might be? Uh, you mean uh, the expression when you are on the road, and or you are talking about the slang for the animal? Not for the for animal. No, the actual word hog as a slang term for a piece of transport, actually. Really? Mm. It's Harley. On Harley Davidson. Oh, yeah. I see. Yeah, I see. Yeah. Okay. Oh, great. Yeah. Nice hog. Great if you say to a, yes. yeah, nice hog, it's and specifically the Harley. Not no no other kind of bike would really get that accolade. But they call it hog. Yeah. Strange but true. <laughs> and if you hog something what does it mean if you hog something? I don't know. 
you don't share. Yeah, well done. So mm-hmm. on Skype, you have to make sure somebody doesn't hog the mic. <laughs> <laughs> Or when right. when you're sleeping, uh, when I'm sleeping with my husband, I, I in in the UK where they have double duvets. In Germany, you tend to have two single duvets, but in the UK when we're travelling, I have to make sure he doesn't hog the duvet. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to be a spring roll. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> I wake up freezing cold in the middle of the night, wondering what's going on. <laughs> So in Germany, you have got two single duvets. I've yeah. never seen that. Yeah, it's weird. In hotels as well. In hotels as well. Oh, that's special. It is. But they are together. Joined together. No. Oh, they are not together. No, they're two they separate two duvets on one big yeah. bed. There is a bed. Ah, okay. There is a bedside between them. Yep, there's they're split it's it, and they wonder why the um they wonder why the population's fallen in Germany. All they need to do is, yeah. is get <laughs> so start <laughs> start sewing <laughs> start sewing their duvets together. They might be a bit they might be a bit better off on the old population front. And also when uh, you uh, come no, on, it's that's true. the same it's the same with king king size bed and queen size bed. Yeah, but do you know what they do? Do you know what they do in a king size and a queen size bed? They have two uh-huh. mattresses. There's a gap in the <laughs> middle. There's a gap in the middle. You can buy big, huge mattresses that are what, but they are so expensive, and everybody buys the bed frame, and then they put two single mattresses in. Okay, it's two different. Things. So you fall down the middle. <laughs> you fall down the middle. It's a, okay. it's a, it's an anticipation for divers, or it's just cohabitation. <laughs> it's bizarre, is what it is. It really is. And I swear, I'd, I'd love to write to the government. One day, when my German's good enough, I'll write to the government and say, look, if you're worried about the population and you want to do increase right the population, now. yeah, you need Your to just German do this. Your German is good enough right now. Do it right now. It doesn't <laughs> I, need to be perfect. The I'll wait till I've got, is, uh, what do I do I'll wait till I've got my paperwork. The is more important than I'll wait till my paperwork's in order first, okay? <laughs> okay, excuses, excuses. <laughs> okay, so we're just in two words in. <laughs> Nearly an hour into the session, we're two words into the first line, so. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> so, what's word, the next one? <laughs> um, software, one word. Search software. We're, we're for, still on the first uh, line. Sorry. Oh, ah, uh, yes. Sorry. Sorry. You, can, Sorry. you can see the verb see. That's it. So you can see. Good. Why I do praise, praise, praising. Sorry, Lynn. Mm-hmm. Uh, do you call it beds, bedside tables or nightstands? How do you call it? Okay, bedside table. Okay, a okay. nightstand has a slightly different uh, connotation to stand. it. Yeah, it used to be where you'd put your night's waste. Okay, yes, it's also Wait, another word for a bedside table. Okay, but there is a connotation in the past. It's where you put the potty, the nightstand. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know what the, the you know what the potty <laughs> is then? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> this does not exist any longer. No, but that's Un- got the connotation <laughs> of what a nightstand is. Because nightstands tend to have drawers and cupboards in them, whereas a bedside table might be just a table. Okay, But a nightstand, yes, is a bedside table, but a bedside table is also a nightstand. The word nightstand has this night waters, uh, which was basically the things you did in the night when you needed to. Okay, your night water. <laughs> I know, I know. That. Why do you keep words? You borrow plenty of words to uh, to to adapt to I don't know the context, the events, or what you like, and you keep such useless word that doesn't mean anything any longer. They are not. Um, they shouldn't be around. We are not using uh, mostly uh, potty <laughs> in the bedroom. And you keep the words nostalgia or what? <laughs> I don't know. Well, also potty means crazy, so you know we're not going to. And little babies still use the potty. Come on, 
potty training is still happening. And the squatty potty. What would you do without the squatty potty? Come on. Well, even the old ones, now when they need to sit on the loo and they want to to be as if they were squatting, so... <laughs> yeah, but I mean... The squ- <laughs> <laughs> and, and animals as well. well. The, yeah, yeah, but the thing is, um, if, you say, if you say toilet training, you think about cats and dogs. Okay, so you don't want to yeah. toilet train your baby, that's... That would be like putting it in a litter tray. So we kept the word potty training and potties for babies and infants. Okay. okay? All right. But yeah, the nightstand has still got this idea that that's where the potty went, in the cupboard where you could close the door and then the maid would come and empty it in the morning. (laughs) (laughs) I used to have to use a potty when I was uh, at my grandmother's farm because there was no in- yeah, sure. indoor toilet. So, you know, I know what it's like to use a potty in the night. It's no fun. I wouldn't yeah, recommend it's, it. It's not, it's not a reason to inflict that to the youngest uh, generation, keeping these kind of words. <laughs> Honestly. I don't know. I, I can't see. I honestly can't see what your issue is. <laughs> Uh, I think these words should just disappear. Uh, maybe it's not in usage anymore because I'm very surprised Oscar asked this question about that word. I didn't know that word. I'm very happy I didn't know about it. <laughs> so then it's okay. back in the picture. Well, you can still buy, you can buy nightstands in Ikea. I've just looked. I would buy a bedside table or bedside cabinet, but yeah, they do have nightstands in Ikea. So, oh, yeah. <laughs> Here you are. Nightstands are the... Or? Night no in in the UK night stands are the unsung heroes of the night. <laughs> 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 Keeping your books, alarm clock, and glass of water within reach. My goodness, what a big claim! They say <laughs> nothing. They that? say nothing about the potty. <laughs> they say nothing about the potty. <laughs> because anyway, as you get old, you don't need um, any more of this kind of stuff because you've got some problem with. Um, the muscles and so on so you put a nappies back most old people no you get yourself a commode what a commode uh, i need some explanation i didn't get it a commode (laughs) (laughs) now a commode can be a set of drawers but they're drawers to me okay you can also get a commode um, that is actually. Let me see if I can find you one. Okay, um, <laughs> you're gonna hate me for this. Okay, this is a commode. Okay. Yeah, she's, she's laughing. In that. That's just no good. <laughs> so <that's>, okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's for when you get old. <laughs> So you can work. <laughs> you can get some really nice ones, antique ones. Okay. Oh, I'm a bigger. No, you can. You can get some I'm lovely reading antique ones. The yeah. translation and it is just the toilet chair. Yes, but it's a commode chair. But it's it, specifically but, called a commode. Just the top. Just the top. To hide the rest of the device, <laughs> let's call it that way. Well, that's to that's what? what's a yeah, good that's commode. The top. Yeah. Do you, do you understand? Well, if you get an antique commode chair, they look like a normal chair. Anybody can sit on them. What they don't realise is if they lift the lid up, it actually underneath is a potty. Okay, so we can't get rid of the potty. <laughs> Because the potty is part of the chair uh, for old people. I don't people. understand why people don't want to talk about <laughs> farting and fart and sound when they get around with, with this kind of stuff. Come on. Well, we don't normally sit around and talk about these things. It's only here, okay? <laughs> but, uh, Lynn, is the commode just <laughs> for the toilet or can we have a, can we call the top of the bidet a commode? Oh, no, because you should, a bidet. Oh. A B day because it's a silent T. Okay, B day. Oh, no, because you shouldn't B-day. wee in the B day. Come on, you, you use B day, guys. I don't use oh, a B day, no. Very, very but common here in Spain. Yeah, I'm kidding. They're, they're the height of the height of sophistication in the UK. <laughs> but you don't pee in them. You don't pee in them. 
and you don't wash your socks in them, which is what I did when I went to France. I thought they were sock washers. But a bidet, yeah. Oh, boy. So what's the name of that uh, thing they put? <laughs> we can buy here bidet with or without that, let, let's say, top so that the you lid. can sit down or the not. Lid. It's the lid. Or, how do you call that? The lid. The lid. It's just the lid, like a jar, jam jar, okay, the lid, the yeah. Lid, the, um, lid, yeah. the toilet is the same, the toilet lid, yeah. yeah okay. The people who are going to just look, That's the one that about, closes it. Toilets, the, the toilet seat, toilets, I... when you're using the toilet, but the lid okay. is the one you can sit on and change your socks. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, you've got to be there at home? I don't know. Yes. You know we've yeah, barely got a bathroom. You've seen my bathroom, so Yeah, but yeah. I, I was just doubting. I said, I don't know. Oh, come on. If I'd had a B-Day, if I'd had a B-Day, you <laughs> might have mentioned. I, we don't have a... We, there's no bathroom upstairs. That was the only bathroom. The one you saw was the one we've got. Ah, That's it. Okay. Okay. No... okay, I will believe you. I will believe you. Worth... What about you, Oscar? You've got a B-Day at home? Yes, 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 yes. I do have it. Look, oh, I wouldn't have it. She makes me think of my, oh, my grandmother. <laughs> Look, li listen, listen, now, uh, I wouldn't have it if I were in Egypt. I remember a very, very uh, special toilet. Have you ever been there? Have you noticed this? Egypt? No, I've never been to Egypt. I I've been in Cairo, and I remember that from the bottom of the toilet, a kind of pipe pointing up was there. Can you imagine that? Oh, no. It is real. No, 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 no. I don't want any surprises. So you can... I don't want any surprises. <laughs> <laughs> That's or in for Japanese toilets, they are more modern. Because what you are talking about, to me, it's, it sounds very archaic. And compared to what they do in Japan... I, I wouldn't say different. archaic. I, I would use another word for that. I wouldn't but... say archaic either. I'd say archaic. Archaic. <laughs> <laughs> well, I like archaic. It's more. <laughs> yeah. okay. Now that sounds too much like archive. Archive. Ar ah, yeah, okay. Ar archaic. archaic. Yeah, archaic. I would say someone is insane designing that. Insane? Why insane? I don't like. I don't like people saying insane or normal or, or things like that. It's not insane. To Archaic, yes, but why insane, uh, Oscar? Can you imagine that? Uh, do you know what I'm talking about? A pipe coming out from the bottom of the toilet. Well, yes, we get, we we can use our imagination. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So imagine, maybe maybe it works uh, fine, but maybe it is. Uh, I don't know. Let I me appreciate this word. piece of engineering. Let, I wait. <laughs> I want a specific word. Uh, <laughs> what is going to be this one? Duck. What? Duck. what I is something. Made of? Pipe. <laughs> be blocked. If you are using the toilet. That's crazy. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm with you. <laughs> this this one's crazy though. Ha guess how much that toilet costs. I don't know. I don't want to ah, know. Ah, let me see, yeah. <laughs> I want to know. It, and it's such old style at the same time. Yeah. Why they don't change the design? $75,000. <laughs> but I want a potty. <laughs> 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 Okay, so <laughs> let's get back to the poem. <laughs> How did we get yeah, onto that? <laughs> I'm trying to find a picture. I don't know if I want point. a picture. <laughs> <laughs> yes, 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 yes. But I've got imagination, Oscar. It's, it's pretty all right. I think we get the picture now. I, I don't. I'm not sure that some is. Uh, ah, it's just for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. As you don't know, as you don't know anything about be there. And you think? Oh yeah, I know about bidet. It, it takes me back to my grand grandmother's uh, yeah, times. Yeah. So. I, I'll show you this uh, 
<laughs> modern toilet. <laughs> uh, let me see. Okay, I, I I'll share it when I find a nice one. How nice about one. <laughs> this one? How about this one? <laughs> yeah. Hot water? <laughs> it's crazy. Well, this one is a prototype, similar. right? <laughs> it must be very dirty. I, I can, I, I can only think it's not that Okay, hygienic. now some got it. Now some got it. Yes. Is that the kind of thing? So it's like a, a toilet bidet. That's what you'd call it, a toilet bidet. <laughs> so people who are watching the video, they can't see the images. No, they can't see the images, no. <laughs> <laughs> but they can search. <laughs> okay, so, okay, let's, let's see. How far we, did we get up to? Uh... Um... So you can see why, why I do I praise. Why I do praise, yes. So we're on the second line now. Do you, you're okay with, yes? Do you, you know what that means? Do you? Uh, the you, it's um, droplets of water in the morning, no? That's it, dew, yes. No? The dew, it yeah. When, uh, when it's early in the morning and um, yeah. with the water condensation, you've got kind of droplets. Is it you? That's the dew, that's yeah. Different. That that's it exactly. The dew, yeah. Okay. Uh, so I got a picture from Oscar. I have to. <laughs> I'm going to have to open it too. Oh my goodness! <laughs> that is what I saw. That is real. Well, that's that's no good, Os Os Oscar. This and the point team. is, the difference between yours and mine is your pictures is that the place where the pipe is coming from yeah female or male <laughs> so in, or male? oh no 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 i mean in this one the pipe can easily get blocked <laughs> oh yum <laughs> that's a lovely thought as i said i don't i don't find the idea but of it particularly true. appealing i mean it's like yeah, public toilets not... having bidets no no make have a bidet in your bathroom but not in a hotel room or a public toilet i just wouldn't use them i'm like ooh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> you i'm so i'm such a snob but yes do yeah, we had I. it before in the fifth or sixth um stanza in, in the sixth stanza, I think it was. So it's the Jap same. Japanese view. people yeah. will never use these toilets, you know, because they have a don't touch. When you want to flush, they don't want to touch the toilets. So to flush the toilet, you just um, pass your hand. Yeah, we have those the... in Germany. And if, if they see you touch something, they will not go there. Yeah. It's crazy in the other way, on the, on, 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 on Taking the it a bit around. too it's far, I think, but, um, yeah. yeah. And well, even they... when you wash your hand, don't touch anything at all. If you touch one part of, <laughs> of, uh, not the sink, but, uh, no, well, the we do have these in Germany not... in some, um, Rastatter or what they call service, service stations when you're, um, traveling on the motorway. Oh. Yeah, you go to these really, and the, the, you wave your hand in front of the thing for it to flush, and then the seat actually turns around and gets washed every time. Yeah. Yeah. And then yeah. you go out, and you don't touch the taps, you just wave your hand again. The trouble is, when yeah. you're waving your hands, you're not quite sure where to wave your hands. So, do you wave them, <laughs> so all these people are waving their hands around, trying to get some water. Taps are much easier. Um, you know, just clean them. In Japan, you don't <laughs> wave your hand, you have to dry them. And if you don't dry them with uh, the machine uh, with the hot hair, um, they will look at you. <laughs> Can you just say that again, please? Uh, hot air. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I said hot hair. I you knew, did, I yes. Knew that. <laughs> mm. I did it. I said, okay, she's not going to. <laughs> ah, ah. Not said, letting that one pass. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's get on then. So, search software, software. for PCs. Hmm. Yeah, this is easy. Yeah. So, software one word. Yep. 
uh, four. Yeah. And a PC, we got it in, on uh, the first stanza. Yeah. The second but this isn't PC. This is PCs. P How do you write that? Ah, uh, PCs. Yes, that's it. Good, yeah. good, good, good. Well done. <laughs> So we're we're on a roll at last. <laughs> See, <laughs> we can do it. We can do it. Can do it. We'll finish it. Okay. Well, just. <laughs> okay. The next line. I break. Uh. Not sure about this one. That would say. Can you help out, Oscar? Uh, I break into. Break into. Yeah. Two. Break into. Yeah. Where's. Where's. Where's one word? What are two words? Because break into a verse. There's. A, 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 a group set of words. Making a a line or something like that. Yeah, verse. that's it. A verse, verse rather than a verse. Uh, okay. Verse. At the end of the. Yeah, a verse. verse. That's it. Yeah. Okay, because a verse. a verse as one. I mean, break into. I think you've got break. B r a k e. Do you know what that means? When when do you uh, break? When do you break? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The car breaks. Yeah, the, the car breaks. Present. Yeah. And then if you don't break in time, you might break. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but to break into, yeah, to break into something, to break into song, okay? What might that mean? If I break into song, what might that mean? This is a phrasal verb. Break into is a phrasal verb. Yeah. To break into something. And break into songs. You start singing? Yeah, you, you just start words. singing. Yeah. So it's an okay. idiomatic kind of phrasal verb, if you like. If you break into a bank, yeah, it's a crime. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, it's ah, a crime. <laughs> but if you break into song, and we, we don't say a song, you always say you break into song, then you just start singing. Okay, so the birds no, break it's... into song at dawn. Yeah, they just start singing. At dawn? Okay. Yeah. Well, don't they do that? In, I guess you're in Paris, aren't you? Do you get do you get the dawn chorus, don't you? <laughs> no, I don't know the dawn what? The dawn chorus. The dawn chorus. What is the dawn chorus? I'm sorry, I don't know what it is. It's when all the birds break into song. As soon as the sun starts to go up, they'll suddenly start singing. They break into song. It's called the uh, dawn chorus. Sorry, it's, uh, the, you you are talking about the car cars chorus. At 5am, <laughs> it starts. Well, yeah, that's really sad. Even here, we get the no, dawn you chorus. You can't, you can't hear it, no? Oh. I can't, I can't hear it at all. You, now, you see, that's why you need any... to live in the countryside. <laughs> well, now, it's going to be a change. <laughs> yeah, yes, I wonder. I just seeing green inside the city, it's incredible. It's amazing, uh, isn't it? That's one thing I love about it, by the way. The whole park <laughs> runs right the way through. Did you find the outside lifts as well? They're amazing. Yeah. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, and yeah. actually um, where I was during the night is in the Penfendal. So it's in uh, uh, where there is uh, the old the old part of the town, a little bit further. Uh, and it's all in the forest, almost uh, kind of in the forest. It's, uh, it's pretty amazing. Wow. And the lift is, uh, yeah. So no, it's for that it's very very beautiful. I just uh, wonder how I will get used to it. <laughs> I will adjust. <laughs> That's going to be weird. Anyway. Okay. <laughs> so burst into song. <laughs> to burst into song. Yeah, you might hear to burst into song, but to break into song, to break into laughter. Yeah. It's just that sudden, yeah, it's that to burst into laughter, to break into laughter. It's that sudden, kind of unexpected. Okay, not okay. premeditated. Not premeditated, no, exactly. It just comes yeah. from nowhere. 
it's like, <laughs> I'm normally at the wrong time as well uh, uh, for me. That's no, mm. not, not this. <laughs> Okay, now the other one was a verse. Okay, we, we've worked out that it's a verse, as in a verse of the poem. Each four lines is a verse. But what about to be a verse? What might you be a verse to? A verse. Mm. A verse is it's linked to hatred, no? When you, when you are very reluctant towards something, to be a verse. Yeah. Basically, if you're averse to something, okay, you really, really dislike it. It's almost as strong as hate. Um, it's a strong, strong dislike, okay? Averse. Uh, you are averse to Marmite, Zom. Ah, okay, all right, okay. So to be averse to something, Anything. yeah? And it's quite often you'll hear it in the, I'm not averse to that, yeah? I'm not averse. I have to use it on the negative to, to say Yeah, that. I'm so not averse you, to you like, getting like up early. It doesn't mean I love it, but I don't mind. Okay, I'm not averse to getting up early. I am. <laughs> are you? Are you, not not a, are you not a morning person, Oscar? <laughs> no, not really. Then you'd have to say, I am averse to getting up early. The morning the morning starts at 11 for you, Oscar, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, and the last line. Um, let me find it. I've lost it. Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah. Want to want to be writing so writing writing is right writing want this I'm not to please is it please uh, want to please is it that or by right uh, I'm not what is the, the, um, the line just before that it's got to make sense And why I break into a verse by writing? Yes, that's it. Want to please? It makes sense, no? Doesn't it? Mm, no. If you put the whole thing, try writing the whole thing. When I break into that's mine. a verse, and when I. When I break into, into a verse, so would by writing want to please make sense? Hmm. How else could that last part be written? And make more sense by writing. Want to please? Who wants to please? What do you want? To, who do you want to please? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is really nasty because you're thinking I want to please. That makes sense, but it doesn't really make no, sense in context. Want to, so yeah, want what could it be? To. I want to. I want myself to please. Mm -mm. Is it that? No, you're struggling too much. Okay. Not want to. Shit. No. By writing one to please. By writing one. The verse. Ah, okay. Oh, it's a nasty one, isn't it? <laughs> oh. Oh. I, I was totally... I was, yeah, I was you totally, were stuck uh, on want to. Yeah? Okay. Uh, you wouldn't say want to. It's just, you know, I want no. to. Hi, hey, um, Rima. Welcome um, back. Oh. I want to please... But who do you want to please? Yeah? Yeah. Me. <laughs> I want to I please really myself. <laughs> <laughs> but there has to be more information then. So it's not want to please, it's one to please. So, one. One. Zom, read the whole one out the way it should have been written, okay? Okay. So you can see why I do praise such software, soft, such software for PCs. 
and why I break into a verse by writing one to please. That's it. So by writing right. one to please, and it could, yeah, to please you, to please you, the reader. Okay. To please you. Yeah. Yeah. Or writing okay. a verse to please yourself. Yeah, to please the reader. Okay. Please the reader. Yeah. yeah. And yourself as well, the writer. And, yes, because exactly. Because if you please the readers. <laughs> well, I'm just trying to. <laughs> No, I, did, I get it wrong here, but okay. Oh, hang on. Okay. Rima, can you hear us? Can we hear you? Yes, yes. Hey, hey good, good. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to have a chair? Let me get you a chair. Um, hang on. I'll get you. Hey, Rima, you should move because I've got the word virtual Oscar. Just, uh, that's it. That's better. <laughs> Oh, there is a set in. There you go, Rima. I've got your chair. When got someone your chair. goes somewhere else, they they lose their seats. That's it. Okay, uh, let me just I'll move you out of it. There you go. Okay, there you go. We can always add another Thanks, chair. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> You were wandering around so looking so lost. I was like, oh, he needs a chair. He wants to be with us. <laughs> okay, so yeah. the no, final okay. verse. The final verse. I <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> 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 feel like I've run a marathon. Okay, so. We, uh, someone has got to read it. Yep, oh, it's oh, got to be Oscar because Oscar... Okay, I have run this poem through it. I am sure you pleased to know it's letter perfect in its weight. Wait, my checker told me so. Ah, okay, so told no, told. My checker told, 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 like oh, not oh, oh, told, told. yeah. Um, I'm trying to think what else has an ol sound. Um, told, told. So I'm with told. So you got the word. It's uh, like a, a told. An owl? No, 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 that's ow. Owl. <laughs> Ow, ow, that's ow. Yeah. Um, toll, it's when you toll. have to pay when you go w with your car yeah. and you get through uh, a gate. Troll. They need you to pay. So trolled. Toll. Yeah, trolled, told, trolled. When somebody's trolling. This, this one? Poll, yeah, poll, polled. Yeah, they polled the population. So you have to be careful. There's an O sound and an O sound. Bowl as well on a tree, but that's a bit um, a bit strange. Um, just trying to see if I can find any more on word oh. hippo. Droll. If something's droll, droll, it's kind of like a dry humour. Oh, how very droll. Coal. Drolling. Coal that you put round your eyes, the black uh, sort of crayon that you put round your eyes. As you say, yep. pole. Um... Yeah, I think that's a bit about it. We've done it. We've done the whole thing. But I'd say the one you're probably most used to is the word troll because of internet trolls. Yeah. So try it, Oscar. Troll. Uh, <laughs> trolled. Told. Old. Yay, much better. Good, 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 good. Okay, so um, let's go through the first line. What do you think it should be? Where are the... Mistakes. There are only two two mistakes here, right? Mm -hmm. I'd agree with that. No? Yep, I'd agree with that. Hey. I will run. Through. I have. A, don't know how to write this poem. Through it. Space. Yep. Space. Space. 
Oh, poem, poem. Uh, yeah, through it, exactly. So again, you've got this weird spelling come pronunciation, through and through. They're also homophones. Same pronunciation. Yeah, same pronunciation, completely yeah. different spelling. And of course, the O-U-G-H um, ending of words is, ah, oh, it's tough. <laughs> yeah, forget about that. I don't want the flow stuff. Uh. <laughs> Oh boy, oh boy. So, through, through, also homophones. There you go. Okay. Okay. Um, okay, I am sure you're pleased to know. That'll be so two no's, please. <laughs> You are, you're pleased. Why pleased? Because I will write please. Well, I, I would suggest that to know. Actually, pleased is correct. Ah, you, to be pleased. Yes. A D. You need a D. I'm very pleased to hear that. <laughs> It's a mistake uh, I was not aware of. Okay, uh, you can say, um, I want to please you. Yeah, so to please. Yeah? Yeah. But so I please. hope you are pleased. So I was, I've never been pronouncing the D. Oh. You can hear the D. Oh, yes, no. you, you do pronounce the D. The E is silent, please. So I've never. Yeah. Because okay. when you say you are, you when you say welcome, you are welcome. It's welcome, welcome. Yes. No D. Yeah. Yeah. You are pleased to D. Yeah. Pleased to see you. Yes, it is the past tense, but we're not. It's it's using it like a past participle. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Good. Oh, this <laughs> one. Uh, okay. All right. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> and you can also use it as an adjective. Yeah. Um. A uh, pleased expression, yeah. A pleased expression on her face, yeah. Uh, I would have it's problems. A bit sort of self-satisfied and smug, but yeah. Um, ah, smug smile, smug, <laughs> smug <face>. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, you might find it in very formal writing. Okay, we will be pleased. To receive your order, of course you will. But you know, yeah. it's just, it's, but that's how people write. <laughs> and you might see it, and you think, "What?" <laughs> we will be delighted. We will be, um, yeah. We just so use that kind of expression. So these sentences are just are just expression you use as it is to end all a uh, 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 kind of letter, depending on the purpose, but. Uh, You've, you've got set of sentences yeah, like that. Yeah, they are set sentences. Sometimes they don't make any sense, sense any longer. Um, but yeah, we say, oh, but, uh, I, was, I was so pleased to hear that you could come to the party. Yeah, I was so pleased to hear. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and, and this is very hard. Just as an adjective, not... yeah? Just use it as an adjective. Think of it as an adjective. It's nothing to do with to please the verb, Okay. Okay, so it's an adjective. Yeah. It's not a passive. No. Um, you can adjective. use it in a sort of passive form. Yeah. Um, let me think if you can do that. Actually, no, you can't really say that in the passive way. Um, no, you need you need because a subject. Of structure. Yeah, the structure you require a subject. So no, you can't use it in the passive. It's got to be, he was pleased, she was pleased, they were pleased, I will yeah. be pleased. Yeah, no. There is no direct object to that. You yeah. are the... And, the of course, uh, you probably already know this one. Yeah, I'm pleased to meet you. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, you've been uh, using well, it all I'm this time. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, so it's, it's an adjective. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, true. Yeah, okay. 
Okay, okay, all right. Makes sense. <laughs> oh, I'm really, I'm very pleased you said that. <laughs> I'm as pleased as punch. <laughs> and happy as Larry. I'm as happy as Larry, yes. <laughs> and I hope you're pleased oh, yeah, with yourself. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> I hope you're pleased with yourself. Well, I hope you're pleased with yourself. When are you going to use this kind of sentence? You Actually, you can use that. Um, yes, I am. <laughs> yeah, be careful <laughs> how you use that. You can be really sarcastic when you say it. Well, now look what you've done. Ah, I hope you're pleased yeah, with yourself. Okay, yeah, okay. sort of All thing right. a parent <laughs> might say to a child. Yeah. Okay, so the the child's playing football outside the greenhouse and the parent says, "Please no, don't play don't play football by the greenhouse." And then crash bang wallop n you know, breaking glass. I hope you're pleased, hope with, you're yourself pleased with yourself now. now yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What are you doing? I'm looming. I've got I uh, sorry, I've got a badger looming over me here. <laughs> Thing just is, made me jump, that, us, that we didn't grow up in this natural language environment, we are never going to use that. No, and but you might hear it or read it in a book and then you'll know what it means. You don't have to use anything that you've learned, really. You can, you can no, write, write and say <laughs> very short sentences for the rest of your life. However, when you come across it, you do have to think, oh, oh yeah, no, that's right. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> Lettering my brain, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> I have your peace with <laughs> Okay, so. Um, Next line. Have we done the rest of it? Yeah, I, I'm sure you're pleased sure. to know. Yeah, I'm sure you're pleased to know. Okay, this next one. Oh, it's tricky. It's a letter. I'm not sure about it. It eats. It is a letter. Well, anyway, I need it to go. Uh, Oh, in its way, I would say that. Um, but it 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 is letter. It it's letter perfect in its way. Letter, no letter like that. It's letter perfect in its way. Okay, so Rima, yes, no. Oscar, what do you think? I don't know. I'm thinking. <laughs> oh, oh, no! <laughs> Come on! Action! Action! I'm sorry, yeah, Oscar. I'm sorry. I, I agree, agree with. Okay. Which one do you I, agree I'm with? I'm looking at. I'm reading the previous sentence, uh, the previous First. verse, so that it makes sense. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Are you so. are you saying that I'm talking nonsense? <laughs> <laughs> no. Although no. uh. oh, I should think more. <laughs> I'm sure you are pleased to know it's letter perfect in its way. Well, first yeah. version, Tom. No, but the second. Later. No, it's later. It's later. It's later no, L A T E R. I hope no, you're pleased. For first version. No, okay, why? Second. Hang on, Rima, why do you prefer the, ver the first version? Well, like letter. I, later is a period. I don't know, I suppose it's letter, yeah, like letter. Yes. Mm, like letter, no, not later, later period. Late. Oh, let, let her, let her. Oh, we've got another one in, let her. Ah, <laughs> oh, let her. <laughs> so she's going to rewrite the poem. That sense, make sense. Ah. Okay, now it wouldn't make sense unless you know an idiom. 
we, what, 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 the, to be letter perfect? Yep. Oh gosh, I was wrong. Uh, <laughs> so <laughs> I tried to, to uh, persuade you, but... <laughs> 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 but you didn't know why. You didn't know you were, why. You were stubborn <laughs> later, later. But later. it's in change. Most important, you are right uh, with your instinctively. So, gosh, what does that mean to be letter perfect? Yeah, so it's sometimes it's hyphenated. It just means word perfect. We also have that word term, word perfect, as in no mistakes. That was a. This is an ancient uh, word processor. Yes, it was. You're right. I remember. That would have had to be written with a capital W. Word perfect. I remember uh, it. Listeners, yeah. they are showing their age. I know. <laughs> I know. I don't mind. But yeah, letter perfect means... Um, so, for example, if you were to learn this poem off by heart, off by heart means word for word without looking at the text, okay? And then you were able to recite the poem without looking at the text perfectly, we'd say you were letter perfect, you were word perfect, okay? Okay. Okay. So, so you learn it's a bit heart, mean. Are able to recite it? Yes, if you learn something by recite heart. It like if you learn a song by text. heart, you can sing it without looking at the music, without lo looking at the words, you can sing it because you've learnt it by heart. Okay. Lots but of... not with all. Did you say last one that you will uh, sing it by heart? Off by heart. Off by heart. Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, to learn it off by heart, to sing it off by heart. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's another little idiom. Okay. But why off, Lynn, here? Oof, I don't know. Just that's how I say it. If you if you've learnt it by heart, then you can sing it off by heart. It's just okay. yeah. being able to remember something. It's something we did at school. You know, we had to learn poetry off by heart. We weren't allowed to just read it. We had to then learn but, it off by heart. I think there is another word as well. Wrote, wrote. By wrote. Like this, yes. No? Yeah. Yeah. By is rote. this the same? Um, yes, exactly. Well done. If you learn something by rote. So let the so perfect. Like by, mm -hmm. by heart. But by, by heart is slightly different in that um, it's, m yeah, rote learning. It's more about like learning the rules of the grammar by rote. Okay. You learn the <laughs> okay. grammar rules by rote. But you might not have to recite it but if you learn something off by heart the idea is that you will then be able to recite it word for word whereas the grammar learning by rote is more um understanding the rules of grammar okay you don't have after that to speak it out uh, you don't necessarily have to read it all out yes yeah so rote learning, it is a memorization technique, but it's repetition. It would be like rote learning would be like he, she, it is, we, you, they are. That's rote learning. But you wouldn't be okay. asked to recite it. Whereas rote So so when uh maybe it's not a good uh image, but when people say a, um a prayer and they have got this uh what do you call that? Um kind of collar with different pearls and they go from one pearl to the other and they say one sentence for each one of the, of the pearl. It's like rote. You can you could use it uh, saying, repeating the um, I don't know what you call that in English, the verse by rote. Um, I don't think so because when you learn by rote, you're not really looking at the meaning of what you're learning at all. You're not actually thinking about what you're learning. It's mechanical. That would be more learning off by heart. Because oh. you're well, then expected sure. to well, repeat it, to, a, to know it. Kind of yeah. it really that's that's okay. really difficult. I don't know. I don't know. But I, I would say not. I would say not. All right. I'd use the other term okay. for that. Okay. Okay. We, anyhow, we've got, Oscar's got to leave in two minutes. So let's see if we can get this finished. Um, yeah, yeah. It's left, letter perfect in its way. Well done. In its way was perfect as well. 
and its. Well done for it was just swapping the two its around. It is and its. And then this uh, last one I think is quite easy. My checker told me so. It's for you, mate, guys. Too easy for me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> don't do it, it so, please. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I've been making all the mistakes so far, so give me a rest. <laughs> Make one, please. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> um, okay, guys, I must leave the chat now. Oh, okay, I, Oscar. I, Sorry you didn't get to read out the corrected I, version, but next. I'm pleased. See you I'm next week. To be here. It was very nice having uh, you here. Do... I hope you've learned something. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. See you soon, guys. Take care. Bye. See you, Oscar. Bye, bye, Oscar. Bye-bye. See you next time. Okay, so the last... Yeah, well done, Zom. You, you couldn't <laughs> resist, could you? <laughs> okay, which... But Oscar leaving gives Rima the chance to read out the correct oh, version. Oh, I made mistakes, Zom. I... <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> okay, so, Rima... Rima, if you would like to read uh, out Rima. the corrected okay. version, okay? Okay. Uh, I have run this poem through it. I am sure you are pleased to know. It's letter perfect in its way. My checker told me so. Very good, good. So you, no you notice the difference in pronunciation. Told and told. Yeah, they're not the same. So. She's already the to just light <laughs> <laughs> just light different for my ear is not <laughs> um, you know, I'm saying back to you it's very it's very hard to me because you you told you tell us oh, okay but honestly um, someone speaking I don't know I think I would have some problem no I, I would need the context to understand if you, if it was a riddle mirror game um, I don't think I would get it. <laughs> it's where the Riddle Mirror game is very tough, actually. I I agree. I agree. But what I like about the Riddle Mirror game is it made people think. Because there's so yeah. much stuff on the internet where it's just served up. And you don't have to think about it. And you, I, I think some people do learn because they've got that kind of brain. But I think a lot of people think they've understood, but they haven't really. And it, when it comes to actually using it, they realise, oh, OK, no, I didn't really get it. I do it all the time in German. But that was really good. Well done. Good. Yeah, it was great. This poem is... Uh, yeah, there's one last little bit of the poem where I put that up. Does anybody know what's wrong with that? <laughs> This is for you, uh, Rima, right? <laughs> Souls. <laughs> Souls, I know. Yeah, what should it be? Any idea what it should no, be? Well, you I know what source is you, like. If you no. give us some hint. Yeah, well, um, let's see if I can find any uh is that idiom some kind of really check your uh, okay uh, so um here's some oh that's really weird stuff what on earth is that meant to be okay that's not going to help you one little bit <laughs> okay. let's get rid of that oh my goodness hang on um oh Difficult. Oh, yeah, maybe um, is, is, is Zom, uh, did Zom uh, get it right? Uh, of course. Source, I know. Not to, I hope so. Yes, source. That's it, exactly. Oh, okay. okay. I was desperately trying to I, find uh, some something I could use to give you the idea of what's... Oh, no, I was thinking about maybe some kind of video or something. Ah, uh, <laughs> so I was you were totally thinking it was think, like... of, My brain was totally on... There we go. Side. There we go. What's mm -hmm. On the table Oops. here. So you've got mm -hmm. sauce in the middle there. Tomato sauce. Ah, ketchup. Okay. Oh, yeah. Ketchup oh, is tomato sauce in ketchup. the UK. Yeah. So mm -hmm. tomato sauce. Okay. But sauce. 
Here's where's it and come saucy. from? Where? What does that mean? Then saucy. Oh, that's like ooh la la. That's like saucy ooh, la, la. seaside <laughs> folk. No, that's like saucy is a little bit sort of sexual. Oh. Oh ooh, la la. la. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, normally a bit rude, maybe. So, at the seaside, we were talking about the seaside, Rima, on Wednesday, yesterday. And uh, in the UK, at the seaside, saucy postcards are the thing. Uh, They're a little rude, so just in a humorous way and suggestive, if you like. Nothing, uh, very, nothing okay. blatant. Yeah, it's like, I don't know, stockings and suspender belts. You know, it's a little saucy. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, source, sure. that's it. <laughs> source, S O U R C E, um, that's basically where something comes from. Yeah, where something comes from. And when we're talking about the source of an article or the source of the poem, you're talking about who wrote it or where was it first published? What's the source? Okay. And you, you use also this word for, for a river. You can also start the start of a river. Yes, the source of the river. Yeah, yeah. the spring. I think I, okay, actually we might have, it. we might have the had that in the water um, vocabulary session that we did, uh, uh, Rima. I think we had that yeah, about source. Water, but I, was, I, re I read it in, uh, in uh, the last book, uh, The Cold of the Wild. Yes. Uh, is that like the beginning of the water flowing? Yes, the that's where flowing? where the river begins, where it starts to yes. be a river. It might be a swamp or, you know, a stream or a spring. Um, oh, underground? Something yeah, underground an underground and... spring. Yeah, absolutely. And where, where the river begins, um, that's the source of the river, where that water starts. Okay. And, and spring means a source, a source of the river? Or spring it can be the source of the river water. or it could just be a spring. It depends whether it actually turns into anything. It just might be a spring and it just turns into a swamp. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay, got it. So it's got to, it's got to be the source. It's got, it implies that it turns into some kind of river. Okay. I'm just trying to find... And, and um, back to the river... Uh, mm -hmm. What do you call when uh, so a river has got a, a source, mm -hmm. uh, the starting point, yep. and it goes to s the sea? And what do you call this uh, this area when the river enters the sea? It's got a name in English? Is it confluent? Confluential? Or is no. it just between two rivers? No, it's a river, or the river goes into another river or whatever. And in well, the when end, the river goes into another river, other. that is a confluence, yeah? Confluence, um, yeah. Two rivers. Belgrade is, the, is confluence, because we, uh, my city is on the confluence, confluence of, of two Daniel rivers, yeah. Sala. Yeah. The meeting of two or two more rivers. bodies of water is a confluence. When it turns into a single... Um, a single stream of water, of a single body of water. Yeah, uh, I'm just trying to see if it's in our. Oh, do you know what? You've just added a new word. Well done. Hang on, let's go insert row. A confluence. We haven't got that, Rima, and yet you knew what it meant. <laughs> yeah, but is it is it a uh, British or? I, 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 it's just water related. It's not something that, um, yeah, no, it is, it is uh, but, English. But for confluence, is that uh, British, uh, is it a British word or America? I think it's any, geog any geography teacher. <laughs> no, because I, I thought that I, yesterday or when it was on, uh, on Wednesday, I, I thought that I found one one word uh, like a synonym for for confluence but i forgot possibly I um let's have a look but as soon as you said confluence i was like oh yes of course um 
No, I mean, the stuff they've got here, like conflux, I wouldn't use. Uh, it's just another word for confluence, and I wouldn't use that. And I wouldn't use water's meat either. Uh, that's just not a word. No, I'd, I'd say confluence is really good. Well done. But you weren't looking for that, were you? <laughs> were you, and Tom? So, uh, what, 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 what's the difference between confluence and affluent? Well, affluence about because money. What? Affluence is about money. Because because, because um, affluence uh, it's not linked to to river either. Because um, you've got a small river. Getting a very in, very in, uh, very old. Okay, I've just looked it up, but it is about money nowadays. But there's an archaic okay, meaning of money. This of is a French water. word. It's ah. the reason why I was wondering. Yeah. Uh, well, if you look it up, it says archaic of water flowing freely or in great quantity. Archaic. It's yeah. not archaic in French. <laughs> yeah, archaic okay. in English. Archaic, okay. flowing free. Because affluent in English river. means... No, look, look. Yeah, but affluent in English means wealthy. And the norm? A stream of river that flows into a larger one. A tributary. Yeah, a tributary is fine. Yeah, tributary. Okay, so it's tri tributary is a word. All right. Yeah, tributary is okay. I'll accept tributary. A tributary is... Um, yeah, a part, a, one piece of water. So where you've got the confluence, one of them's a tributary. Yeah. <laughs> one of them is the tributary. Yes. And and Rema, is Rema right when it goes uh, into the sea? It's uh, at the estuary. We call it's that an estuary. estuary. Yes. Yes. Okay, Rema, you are good at the water stuff. Yeah. yeah well, we've been doing a load I was on it. About this word. So so it's it's. Uh, Estuary is just when river comes to to sea. When uh, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. I was thinking for, for this word that it, it, it is uh, uh, British maybe for confluence and the Americans use confluence. But okay. No, no, no. Tributary. Um, sorry. Ah, a, estuary, an estuary. An estuary is so is, um, is British English for sure. We say that's what we say in British English. Um, a confluence, I think that could be also confluences. I think it's countable. Um, and estuary, estuaries, yeah, that's where yeah. you've got the river estuary flowing estuary. out estuary. to the sea. Yeah. Yeah, okay, good. Okay. I'm happy. <laughs> so. Not all money. rivers not all rivers have okay. estuaries, of course. Not no uh, it's a large a river would have an estuary large, okay. yes, yeah large, large rivers the where the suddenly way. the the river the fresh river water turns into brackish sea water and then um t goes into an estuary uh, what what's the difference between um, a delta sometimes we call uh, a delta a delta is used as a, more land. as a word linked to Holland Sorry. <laughs> More land. <laughs> well, an estuary is very wet. It might be tidal, so at times it might become mud flats, uh, but then it gets covered in water. Like, like, like a swamp? No, no. No, like mud flats are not like swamps. Swamps are more inland, okay? Uh, mud oh, flats okay, are very, right. they're only, um, there, are, there are quite a few in Europe, actually, mud flats. They're normally teeming with wildlife because they're tidal they're covered by tidal but a swamp yeah. is always wet a swamp is just permanently wet okay. Okay. okay so we've got other words like an inlet okay in an inlet is in where the sea comes into the land but doesn't necessarily have um uh, now a delta is okay. more like an inlet i would say so inlet is salty water necessarily if it's a sea coming inland. I'd say inland so. Yeah. Come, like flood, like flood, they cover yeah. the land. Is that like uh, when sea uh, over flood, so, over flood the land? Is that inland? Inlet. Which one? Inlet? I, um, so. I wouldn't say it's where there's flooding. I'd just say it's where it's cut into the land. It's an inlet. Yeah. But a delta, is, it's, it would be less to do with the sea and more to do with the river, where the river is maybe going to change its course. Like we get a river delta, 
yeah, a river delta. And sometimes it might flood when there's a lot of water in the river. So it might be like a flood plain. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> By the way, this is a nightmare. Oh uh, yeah, I know, I know, I know. I know. I'm having to take my my way, my um, I'm having to take my brain back to uh, geography lessons. <laughs> yeah, but that's what we are learning, as if we are uh, we are kids and learning stuff of different. Well, this things. is the sort of stuff we do learn, uh, and you might you might you might need it one day. The likelihood is not, but you might need it one day. <laughs> well, I, I like to read maps, paper maps, and you've got all these details. Oh, yeah, so you need it for that. I like, I like it, actually. It's just because of interest, uh, reading maps, uh, paper maps, I mean. Because you've got an uh, indication of the Oh, yeah, I mean, once so you on. get into maps, the, the amount of um, vocabulary you need is actually quite scary. <laughs> okay well, so anyway. what i will do then zom as you have expressed an interest i will give you the link to the little document we've been putting together on water and water features okay thank you and you can comment so if you think of anything else um we if kind of about mountains yeah, mountains, we've done mountains, we've done ravines, <laughs> and just, um, it's got quite was, complicated. <laughs> that's, that's a Spanish word. You are using arroyos. Yes, escape. but remember, there's a lot of American English there. Okay. And in America, a lot of Spanish words are in yeah, American yeah, English. Yeah. Okay. Oh, by you, I love by you. Yeah, by you, I love by you. That's that's sort of again Florida English, if you like. <laughs> but no, I mean when you look at the different geographical terms, we could make this a very very long list. What is a bite? B i g h t. Ah, now that's actually quite an interesting. The the later ter the later lists I did, I actually started putting um, definitions in. But, um, yeah, if you've read, again, it's a little bit poetical now. Um, ah, okay. But it's got this but sort of river? really evocative, um, when, you, when you're going along the coast, yeah, uh, it's where you get a, a curve in the coast, okay? Okay, all right, yeah. Okay. So where you've got, or even on a river, but I tend to think of it as a coastline along the shoreline, okay? Hey. A bite. And there, there are even places that have got the name bite. So in Australia, the Great Australian Bite. Yep. 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 And that's like a huge, but it's huge. It's not like a, a bay tends to be kind of protected and more like an inlet if you like maybe rounded kind of inlet a bay i always think of bays as being gentle and i always think of bites as being i suppose because it sounds like a bite i always think of them being dangerous places <laughs> urine you've got urine in this list yes urine <laughs> yeah well we worked it out guess oh, who added urine. that guess who added that to the list <laughs> april <laughs> that's french <laughs> But yeah, she's right because it's actually that. I can't I think I think it was ninety five percent water. We looked we looked up the chemical composition well, of urine depends, and it, it is ninety five percent water. water. Yeah. What? No, is it's it? not. It's ninety five percent water. And uh, lots of no, trace no, elements. Yeah. <laughs> and also saliva's in there, courtesy of yes, April. Saliva. Yeah. Saliva. And saliva. why not mucus of stuff like that? Mucus. Then? Well, it any, started any getting fluids, a bit icky. Uh, escaping from your body. <laughs> Bodily fluids. <laughs> well, if you can find me Not the chemical way. composition of mucus, <laughs> I might. <laughs> the thing is, mucus can come from other animals and things like that. So I suppose urine can too, but I don't know. What's the chemical composition of mucus? Gloopy. <laughs> yeah, it's more gloopy yeah. than fluid, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Phlegm so. as well, yuck. It's a oh, viscous colloid, <laughs> doesn't really have and proteins and stuff, so I don't think it would come in as a as a as a really watery substance. 
Yeah. The rivulets. It's poetic as well. A river and rivulets. What? Yeah. A, oh, had that. Anyway, riv rivulets. Riv uh, I, w I will. I will type it down. I don't know the pronunciation. Rivulets. I don't know how to it. Rivulets. <laughs> That's what it is. Showers. Yes. Sinks. Sips. Sips. So all all these words, you came through them while uh, reading. That's it. Uh, no, oh, no. I I kind of put it together for a session we did on water. Ah, okay. Yeah, right. we were doing a whole session on water. I think it's it's one of the um, uh, let's talk about it sessions on Skype on on ah, okay. YouTube. Uh, but we did that. We did caverns valleys etc we did mountains oh i missed that and now we're at the seaside God. we're at the seaside now so and some of the, some so of these terms have to come through you know they, they they cross over from different you know seaside you have lots of water but not the same water of course because it's not fresh water it's salt water it's seawater and yeah, or, yeah. yeah. It gets very yeah. complicated <laughs> but hopefully fun oh, i missed it it was uh, it it was all about geography, landscape geography. And, yeah, uh, yeah. It came about and, because and um, it came about because there were lots of questions in one of the books, and I thought, okay, we can do that. We can do that. <laughs> What's oh, the difference between a valley and a canyon? <laughs> I think it was. Oh. <laughs> but that's how all the sessions begin, Roma. Somebody asks me a question, and then I I think, can I show them that in in world? Can it? Can we do something? Have I got that sim or that kind of stuff in my inventory that we can actually show it? <laughs> I must fun. to commend you. You put it uh, alphabetically in alphabetical order. Yes. Oh, of course. Yeah. Otherwise, how can you find anything? Oh, very organized. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's in <laughs> alphabetical I, I order. <laughs> great, great. <laughs> very organized. Housekeeper, but organized one. <laughs> Ah. <laughs> Don't start. <laughs> oh, why not tidy it up before you came? <laughs> I have nothing to And before I get off. before I get insulted further. Oh, I'm in the middle of the table again. Uh, no, oh, I'm stuck. I'm st yeah, no, it is time to go. <laughs> so I will love you and leave you and uh hopefully see you in the next session. Uh, we'll be yeah, around sure. tomorrow, next week as well. Yeah. Keep an eye on the calendar because the week after I am away for a couple of weeks. So if anybody wants to volunteer to do any sessions, quizzes, games or other delightful items, let me know. Indeed, let me know. All right. Okay, you take care then. Thank okay, for the see later. Bye. 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 Thanks. Bye, Rama. I thanks you. You thanks, sir. Wow. <laughs> Thank you.